has put in over the offseason, the training camp preparation, it pays off right here and now. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Curry over Westbrook. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And off the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. Davis. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. This speaks to Westbrook's high level of awareness. Understands when one of his guys is wide open. Curry against Westbrook. Three-pointer. Counted from distance. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Now Los Angeles with it. First chance of the year for them to go up against this Warriors team. And these two teams will face off against one another four times. <laughs> it should be fun. Well, you know, each game they play will hold a lot of importance to both teams. Now here's Curry. Pass to Looney. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. And the shot's good by Wiggins. So polished from this painted area. Love watching Wiggins do this thing close to the basket. Curry against Westbrook. Here's James. Six to shoot. From deep. The shot off that time. So Golden State will take it the other way. On the wing, Thompson. Beverly defending. Thompson, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gone one for three so far. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. James, that's good. When he gets touches inside, LeBron is impossible to stop. Now here's Thompson. Looney passes to Wiggins. Outside Curry. This one for three. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. You've got to respect Steph Curry's willingness to carry the load. He never backs down from a challenge. And he will work himself to the bone trying to provide for his team. Falls for Curry. And after winning MVP honors in 2015, Steph Curry was even better in 2016, taking home another MVP award going back to back. He hits the second from the line. And that 2016 MVP year for Curry, Grant, one of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, so true, B.A. Think about this, the Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shattering the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steals. Steph in 15-16, something else, guys. Now, here's James. Pass to Davis. Back to James. On the wing, Bryant. And there's the lob. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Warriors. And this pause to check on the stats to show you which teams led the league in assists last year. Fifth on the list, the Warriors. And what really stands out to me about this team is how they share the rock. They don't want good shots. They want great shots. And collectively as a team, that's what they seek out. Now here's Thompson. the whistle on the way up so he'll be headed to the line for a pair and we think back to 2015 grant clay thompson with the best quarter in league history oh ba 37 points from him in one quarter setting an nba record clay 13 for 13 from the field and nine for nine from deep taking only four dribbles the entire time only clay thompson guys No good on that one. People say Klay Thompson's shooting form is picture perfect, and they're not wrong. Key is out there. Watch how he shoots it and take notes.
and he can't make the second free throw either. Missed them both. Very surprised he couldn't capitalize on those shots. You don't see that often. Davis, the pass to Westbrook. Pass to James. Outside for Davis. Off target with the three. The Warriors have gone just two for four from the floor. Curry with it. Back to Thompson. From behind the arc. The shot, no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. Haynes attacking. Bearing his second of three attempts. A signature move for LeBron. His power and explosion has not diminished. Pass to Wiggins. And here's Curry. That's up a three. And Bryant pulls it down. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of six from the floor. Beverly, the pass to Westbrook. James, outside. Pass to Bryant. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Beverly against Wiggins. And here is Thompson. What, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. To three from Curry. And the Warriors miss again. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Pass to Bryant. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. The Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans, but they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. as the free throw drops in for him. You know, this Lakers team is running with one of the most veteran squads in the league, spending tons of experience and wisdom on their bench. These are all battle-tested guys, B.A., who know how to overcome tough situations and win games. Timeout called, the Warriors. Good setup. Let him to the rack. Perfectly for the layup. 
What a find by Steph. Coming off the pick and roll. He does a great job of staying under control. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. Back to the middle. Here's Beverly. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Way to rise to the occasion and snatch back the momentum. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Now here's Thompson. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Wiggins. Just five to shoot. Back to Thompson. Outside. Green. Wiggins from long range. It's hauled in by Beverly. The Lakers have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Now here's Westbrook. Beverly outside. Bryant the pass to Davis. Curry against Westbrook. Davis with a screen on Curry. And he's one for the lob. And Davis slams it home. You see the weight that AD's added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Curry passes to Thompson. Off target from outside. The Lakers have gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Beverly outside. James against Wiggins. James passes to Bryant. The three, Westbrook. It's rebounded by Golden State. Pass to Curry. Now Wiggins. Here's Thompson. Looney, a screen on Beverly. Thompson passes to Looney. That shot off the mark. Excellent D there from Bryant. The Lakers in the lead. Inside. Here's James. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. I like when Russ looks to involve his guys. It brings this team closer together. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injured, it's safe to say the Golden State Warriors are back. Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Poole in for Stephen Curry. Cool. On the assist by 
Bingo. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Outside Walker. Back to Schroeder. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Drawing contact inside. Dennis Schroeder using his reach and quickness to compensate for his height disadvantage. Throw good. Schroeder. As for the Lakers, you think this is the last team LeBron plays for? You know, B.A., he certainly wants to play with his son. We know that. Now, whether that's in the purple and gold, only time will tell. It would definitely be fun to see them both with this storied franchise. And Humphrey throws good for Schroeder. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Ooh, ball raid. And Reeves pulls it down. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. To the paint. Wiseman with a steal. Here's Poole. Got some very quick points for him on that possession. Poole's got his second basket of the night. Easy look for mid-range. He won't miss any of those lazy effort defensively. Inside. Here's Schroeder. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Davis has got three assists tonight. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Now here's Wiseman. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Back to Poole. Fires for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. And Walker passes to Davis. it up. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. The Warriors trailing. To the middle. Green in the post. No good. And it's the Lakers the other way. And he lobs it up. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. And the Warriors shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. To Kaminga, now Wiseman. Here is DiVincenzo. Here's Green. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Lakers. Right out of the gate, they've been in attack mode. And I think that's by design because. It has been relentless. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. They throw no good for Green. The way Draymond carries himself plays with a chip on both shoulders, which can be good and bad. To Schroeder. Davis with the screen on DiVincenzo. 11 feet out. Warriors with the rebound. No question who's in control of the board so far. Now here's Poole. Walker covering. Takes one from 10 feet. Off the left rim and out. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Pass to Schroeder. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter. Excellent D there from Kuminga. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Here's Poole. Oh, nice D from Schroeder. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. Hey, hey, 29 seconds 
left to the first. And the jam by Walker. Great pass. We talk about 80s guard-like skills. That includes his floor vision. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Schroeder against Poole. Green, a screen. Tries to tip footer, and he drops that one in. Poole's got seven. Here's Schroeder. And so the first quarter is in the books. Lakers ahead. They're up by four. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. here guys what are your thoughts well there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim especially at the start you want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm and they say to win big sometimes you have to sacrifice tell us exactly what that means though in basketball terms right? what it means ba as a player you might have to accept a more defined role most players grew up as the best player on their team when you're on a contending team, sometimes you have to just star in your role. So on the floor for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. We've got LeBron James, Kendrick Nunn out there with Patrick Beverly. Then it's Thomas Bryant, and it's Reeves, and at the three, the small forward. Probably not the shot they had in mind, but you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Pass to Kaminga. Here's Looney. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Looney's got his second basket. And making the extra pass. Wiggins' teammates appreciate his willingness to get it to them when they're uncovered. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, guys, Jim on Green suffered three delays in years with the Dubs. He said, quote, I just couldn't get myself to the Coach Kerr pulled me aside and said, quote, you have to be the worst player in meaningless games I've ever seen. Because I'm the love again. And just enjoy it. Step up the three point line, or you will pay. Here's James, and it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. When you look at the career that LeBron has put together, one of the all time greats, amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded for him. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the board. James, outside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact, so he was going up. No one can make headlines like LeBron. There was a ton of buzz when he talked about teaming up with his son in the NBA someday. get the first one you know whether it happens or not I think everyone would like to see LeBron and his son play together Smitty B.A. I think it will be one of the coolest things to take place in the league we've seen it in other sports but for it to happen in the NBA it would be awesome and the second free throw is good 
He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. The kick out to Wiggins. Looney, the screen. Wiggins, no good. The Lakers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. James, that's good. James has got 12. Always fun to watch James go off like this. He's getting everything he wants on the offensive end. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. It's a thrust of take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Now here's Looney. Here's Wiggins. And Reeves pulls it down. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. James against Looney. It's tipped. The tenacity of Looney there, swatting the shot back and showing off his defensive chops. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Pass to Looney. Back to Wiggins. Outside Kaminga. Back to Wiggins. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Now Los Angeles with it. Good momentum. Eight straight points. And there's James from the arc. Drops him to three. And now a ten-point Laker lead. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Stephen Curry is second. From the free throw line, those two were almost automatic last year. What great assets they are late in the game. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Looney, the screen. Curry against none. Six on the shot clock. They need this. And that's good for two. Curry's got 11 points. We see this night in and night out. Steph Curry gets the space he needs from the mid-range. And we've heard LeBron James say he's obsessed with the winner bust. And this Lakers franchise certainly has that same approach. But aside from the 2020 title, there's been a lot of frustration with that. Can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Now Westbrook. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. James inside. He's watched by Kaminga. Tipped. Beverly, the pass to Bryant. Here's Westbrook. And that one hits the back iron. Well, it's a make-or-miss lead. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. 
it wasn't a bad shot. Curry passes to Thompson. The three-pointer off the mark. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. He's called a teammate. James can't get it to go. The Warriors have gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Pass to Looney. Back to Curry. From deep. The Lakers with a rebound. James has got six rebounds here tonight. Beverly finds James. 13 feet out. Unable to get that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Kuminga, the pass to Curry. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. He's got 13. On the catch and shoot step is nearly automatic. All he needed was the ball. It in. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Curry. Again! Golden State! The whole team is loving everything Steph is doing. Playing with the ease on offense tonight. Pass to Westbrook. James up top. There's the three. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got four assists in the game. His second make from beyond the heart this quarter after hitting none in the first. Now here's Curry. He's got 15. There's one principal reason why they're sitting on this lead. Rebounded. Curry against none. in his rhythm and just executing at a high level I mean taking what the defense allows and putting in the work the reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night and at this point I wouldn't expect them to Thompson that's good what a look from Steph Curry just shredding defenses with pinpoint passes to open teammates time called here Los Angeles decides to talk it over He's checked in for Looney. Green comes in for Kaminga. And it's Poole in for Thompson. Los Angeles has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. To the inside. Here's Schroeder. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Schroeder's got six points. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Heisman, a screen on Schroeder. Curry from deep three-point land. 
Westbrook with the rebound. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. And as Westbrook gets older, he's indicated that he's not looking to change how he plays, Grant. And that can be a double-edged sword, B.A. You love his aggression and confidence. But you wonder how his game will hold up as his athleticism goes. And here are the Warriors now. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. And the three-pointer goes. Curry's got 12 now in this quarter. Gradually starting to put pressure on this defense. That's his second from downtown this quarter. Three for the game. Pass to Westbrook. Got it. Two for five now. He has no answer defensively inside. The Warriors have gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. The three from Curry. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for the Warriors. Warriors. Dante DiVincenzo. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Down low. Here's Schroeder. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Schroeder's got his third bucket of the night. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Pass to DiVincenzo. Now Wiseman. Checked by Davis. Out of bounds. It'll be Lakers ball. Had a moment to check out who the Los Angeles Lakers have coming up. On Thursday, they'll be facing Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up with Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting about 58% so far in the second. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got four rebounds now. It's Poole on the wing. Takes it inside. And a nice finish on the layup. Poole's got nine. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Schroeder passes to Walker. Davis against Wiseman. Pass to Toscano. Shot clock at five. And that one's good. Davis. Give him eight points now. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Here's Poole. And again, it's Golden State. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Vincenzo against Westbrook. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot there. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Russell Westbrook's ranks on the all-time list are incredible. He's in the top 100 for points, rebounds, assists, and steals. And don't forget, he's a triple-double king. Free throw, no good. And with Westbrook, is there anyone you could see breaking his triple-double record? Yeah, I think Luka Doncic has a chance. He's already in the top ten on that list and has a long career ahead of him. I remember thinking no one would break Oscar's record, but Russell did it. That one misses. You know, intensity is what makes Russell Westbrook so special. He's relentless, and it's difficult for even great players to keep up with him. It's a rough start with them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Westbrook outside. Back to Schroeder. To the right side. Westbrook against Wiggins. 20 feet out. Drained it for two points. Westbrook's got six. And after a scoreless first quarter, he's finding his offense. One minute left in the first half. Wiggins outside. Outside. Green. Get it again. Second chance shot. 
And it's Wiseman missing. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Green against Davis. Pass to Schroeder. Here's Toscano. Outside Davis. Now here's Walker. From deep three-point range. The Warriors pull it in. Weisman's got his seventh rebound of the game of that last one. Poole against Schroeder. To the paint. Here's Weisman. Missed inside. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession. Except for the result. So we conclude the first half. The Lakers on top. Up 10. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Here with Coach Steve Kerr, your defense struggling to contain them in the first half. How do you remedy it? We got to uh, get back in transition. We got to make them feel us. You know, they're just running anything they want. We've got to at least disrupt the stuff they're trying to do. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. We'll be coming right back after this break. Ready for the third quarter. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. And Shaq, using your crystal ball, how do you see these upcoming games playing out? Ernie, I'm not sharing anything I see in my crystal ball with you. No way. You either, Kenny. Listen, if you really have a crystal ball, why don't you just look into the future and give me those lotto numbers, man? I want a mega yacht. Don't worry, Kenny. One day I'll let you into USSS Shack. My yacht. One day. You keep saying that. All right, and shifting gears to our current matchup, it's been a rough one so far for the Warriors. They've been out of sync in this one, shooting under 40%. Struggling to create good looks and settling for tough shots. I like to see them drive the basketball more and get easy buckets. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. And the Lakers shooting is around 55% so far. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Now here's Thompson. Green finds Curry. Looney to screen. Curry with it. Now guarded by Bryant. Curry, no good. And so it's the Lakers with it. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Westbrook, the pass to James. And he lobs it up top! And Davis slams it home! 
What a beautiful play, and it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by AD. Curry against Westbrook. The three is up. Rebound by the Lakers. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Ready for the controversial selection. Uh, but it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection of numbers. And of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. Misses the free throw. Good on the second one. And for the Warriors, they're shooting just 37% so far in this one. Pass to Looney. Back to Curry. Looney, screen on Westbrook. That won't go either for Curry. Ooh, they've come out of ice cold to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. And again, the Lakers, no good. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Davis. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. This is the guy who had three threes in the first half since then, still waiting on number four. The rebound by Wiggins. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution, sometimes the shots just don't go down. Here's Curry, and Davis with the block. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. <laughs> On defense, the Lakers. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Alright, let's use this time to check out the teams with the most steals last year. The Warriors, fourth. And this is a team that takes great pride in being aggressive on the defensive end. They take good risk and know when to go after opportunities for steals. Curry against Westbrook from seven feet. Man, that one drops four. Westbrook's got nine. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. And the Warriors call time here.
little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Looney, screen on Westbrook. Curry, no good. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their cause. James, outside. He's Beverly. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Beverly's gotten his second bucket. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. The three from Thompson. And again, it's the Warriors missing. The Lakers have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Davis, the pass to Westbrook. Westbrook with a screen on Wiggins. James with the ball, now guarded by Curry. No good from outside. And for the Warriors, they're shooting just 33% so far in this game. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Here's Looney, and he lays it up and in. Looney's got six. Terrific work inside from Looney. He continues to get more comfortable down there. James passes to Davis. And finished off by Davis. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Throws it up high. Here's James. Give him 20. Pass to Davis. Fader on the way. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got four assists now tonight. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Now here's Curry. He's got 21. Takes the three. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. There's almost no stopping LeBron. He muscles his way right through contact. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. You know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Thompson outside. His Curry for three. And the Warriors miss again. He just keeps firing from distance. I know he's trying to heat up, but at what cost? Westbrook against Curry. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The energy of Russell Westbrook is challenging to deal with, which is why he gets fouled. Two shots. First free throw is good. And the Warriors making a change here. Kuminga's checked in. Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. Nunn comes in for Beverly. And so he's able to get one of two. And watching Draymond Green play. Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer. Sees guys get open before they do. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. For me, consistent penetration the entire game. And that's given them a lot of options. And you have to talk about the passing, too. I mean, the ball has been zipping around on the offense, and they've kept the extra pass mentality the whole way. And he drops the first. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for Curry. And the Lakers also making a switch. Walker, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. <laughs> so 
So he gets them both. Well, Grant, we're seeing players extend their careers. Often, diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day, and how important do you think that is now? It's so important. The food you put into your body, the rest, the recovery, uh, all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. Here's Poole, following the score by the Lakers. Pass to Thompson. Oh, it sticks out one from 20 feet. Thompson's got five now. No solid use of the screen and roll from Thompson. A dangerous player who destroys opposing defenses off these sets. None. Pass to James. Davis with a screen on green. Here's James. Outside none. Clock at six. The three. Hits a three-pointer. Nunn's got his third basket on the night right there. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Poole. He's got 14. Here's Thompson. And the shot's good. He's got seven. Inside, Thompson's agility gives him the edge. He navigates around the D into his shot. James passes to Walker. Yep, that one goes. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. This Warrior squad is struggling. Now here's Poole. Thompson outside. From the arc. That shot, no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. Walker passes to Nunn. Walker against DiVincenzo. There's Davis with the three. Warriors with the rebound. Outside, Green. Pass to Poole. Green, a screen. Three-pointer, and Poole with the three. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. More help. James outside. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to go on Draymond Green. And once LeBron gets the ball in the painted area, the force he plays with is hard not to foul him. Free throw good from James. When it comes to longevity and skill, no one has done it better than LeBron James. He's in a category all to himself. And the Warriors making a change here. Wiseman's checked in. And that's good as he hits both shots. And the Warriors with possession here. 19-point game. Dunn against Poole. Takes one from 10 feet. James with the rebound. James has got nine rebounds now. The kick out to Nunn. For three. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got assist number seven tonight. Pool, the pass to Wiseman. DiVincenzo against Walker. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo's got his first points of the night. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Here's James. Thompson pulls it in. Went to the fadeaway. Didn't need to go. Probably cost him some points. Poole outside. Pass to Wiseman. Six to shoot. Back to Poole. Oh, it makes it with a kiss. Poole's got 19 points. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Here's James. The 
three is up. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. DiVincenzo on the wing. Walker covering. And he comes up with a bucket. That's good planning and that's good execution. And that's a great look. Los Angeles has gone two for five from three since halftime. None against Poole. None, no good. And the Warriors shooting 42% on this third quarter. Poole outside. Fires it. The Lakers with a rebound. James has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. A minute 35 left in the third. Pass to Reeves. James with the ball. Right side, none. The three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Kaminga's got four rebounds in the game. And here's Poole. Right side, DiVincenzo. And he banks in the layup. DiVincenzo's got four this quarter. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. None against Poole. Oh, they need this! None with a bucket. None's got 12 points in the game. Throughout the evening, he's got to his spots. And the defense has not adjusted. Poole, the pass to Thompson. Uses the glass on the layup. Nine points in the game. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. And the Lakers shooting an efficient 55% on the third quarter. And there's James from the arc. Thompson pulls it in. Thompson's got four rebounds in the game. He started off solid. Had two threes at halftime, but blank from deep since. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Blake Thompson draws fouls because he looks to score often, forcing defenders to overplay their hand. At the line for the dogs, Thompson. Two shots. And he makes a first. Looney's checked in for Wiseman. Bryant, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Schroeder comes in for none. Both free throws good from Thompson. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Well, Los Angeles shooting has been good. 54% on this one. And slam dunk by James. Oh, a guy as big as LeBron can handle the ball that well. Is a mystery. Schroeder against Poole. Pass to Thompson. From 11 feet away. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. On the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Lonnie Walker is out there with Thomas Bryant. Then it's Dennis Schroeder. Then it's Anthony Davis. And it's Beverly in at the shooting guard position. Outside for Green. And here's Curry for three. And the shot misses. And Los Angeles the other way now. 22 was their biggest lead. 
and their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Davis. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, Anthony Davis has had his share of injury struggles, having to miss valuable games at times. You know, the thing with AD, he's always bounced back from his injuries. I totally agree with you, B.A. It's a true credit to his resiliency, physically and mentally as well. That free throw misses. The physical gifts Anthony Davis possessed are just undeniable. He was built to cause havoc down low with his long arms and broad build. He hits the second from the line. The Warriors shooting 40% from the field in this one. Oh, there's the alley! And the lob disrupted. Not to be. To the middle. That's good from Schroeder. On the assist by Davis. Davis has got assist number eight here already in the game. The three from Curry. Bryant pulls it down. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. It's stolen by Curry. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. Here's Green, and it's blocked by Davis. All of AD's 7-6 wingspan coming into play allowed him to block it away. Out to Schroeder. Pass to Davis. Clock at six. Inside. And Davis slams it home. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong. Yet, the opposite happened. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Bryant. Shoots over Curry. Bryant, no good. Golden State has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Here's Curry, covered by Schroeder. Here's the three. And again, no good by Golden State. At this point, I'm not sure if it's the play calling or the player himself. Davis against Green. Walker passes to Beverly. And the three off target. The Warriors have gotten nothing to fall in this fourth quarter. 0 of 5. Stolen by Davis. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Beverly. Now Walker. The three ball. Warriors with the rebound. DiVincenzo with it. Now guarded by Bryant. To win the drought. And Bryant pulls it down. Bryant's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Schroeder passes to Beverly. Wiggins against Schroeder. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one belongs to Wiggins. The finish shooter is much trickier than it used to be. Has developed his skills to go along with the athleticism. Taking two shots. No good on the free throw. And you know, Dennis Schroeder, from the moment he came into the league, showed tremendous confidence. He's never been the type to back down. So he comes up empty, missing both. Well, the Warriors shooting just 37% so far in this one. 
Curry against Walker. Curry passes to Looney. Back to Curry. Clock at six. And again, no good by Golden State. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. And Davis slams it home. When Anthony Davis gets in a rhythm like this, it's good for the whole team. The other guys feed off his energy. On the wing, Curry. Here's the floater. And he takes it up. And lays it in. Curry's got 23. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Davis with a screen on DiVincenzo. Pass to Davis. Over Looney. And too long on the shot. And here are the Warriors now. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Curry from deep three-point land. That won't go either for Curry. The Lakers have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Beverly for three. Another shot. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. The Lakers making a switch here. Westbrook's checked in. Thomas Bryant shooting one. And we've heard the cautionary tales in the past. Does it seem like players today are getting better financial advice, in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? Yeah, B.A., I think they're getting better financial advice, but I also think that the times that we're in, I think there's more awareness. Players understand the pitfalls, the potential setbacks, uh, the social media, digital age, all the information's there. So players today, yes, they're making more money, and I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money, too. First one falls for him. And so Curry nails both of them. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Davis with a screen on DiVincenzo. Outside Walker. Davis against Looney. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Kevon Looney picks one up. You gotta be careful how you guard Davis. Given his size, he uses it to absorb contact. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Smitty, instant replay is here to stay. A big part of the game. How has it impacted the NBA, you think? Well, I think fans and players love that you get it right during crunch time. The one thing I think that can help is to speed up replay. That's what everybody is complaining about. He's off on the second. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. DiVincenzo, pass to Curry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. And the bucket is good. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Well, the Warriors shooting only 36% so far in this game. Pass to DiVincenzo. Looney with the ball. Checked by Davis. Here's Curry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. And he lobs it up to the rim. 
Wiggins with a steal. On the wing, Curry. From deep. That won't go either for Curry. He clearly wants to try and close this game out strong, but your deep range isn't there. You just can't keep forcing it. And finished off by Davis. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. And so it's Golden State with it, following the score by the Lakers. It's Wiggins on the wing. Walker covering. That won't go either for Curry. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And it's the Lakers ball. They're on a 17-4 run. Beverly, the pass to Westbrook. Beverly, a screen on Curry. The kick out to Walker. Takes the three. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. Now here's Curry. And he hits one. Maybe he's ready to get back on track. Curry's got 27 points. Westbrook against Curry. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Warriors. And some changes here for the Warriors. Wiseman, he's checked in for Draymond Green. Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. And it's Thompson in for Stephen Curry. And the Warriors with possession. DiVincenzo, pass to Looney. Outside Kaminga. To the inside. And it's Wiseman with the chance. so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. Now here's none. Here's Davis. Again, the Lakers score. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. Here's DiVincenzo to the paint. Here's Wiseman. And it's Wiseman with the chance. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Davis, that's good. And the Warriors shooting 37% from the floor at this point. Vincenzo against none. Pass to Looney. Now here's Wiseman. Well, Brad, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm not going to need a little instruction here. What's it all about? No. VA, first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you, but I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. He's off on the first. Cool. he's checked in for the Warriors. Schroeder, he's checked in for the Lakers. And he's good on the second. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Los Angeles has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Looney against Davis. Out to Schroeder. From behind the arc. It's rebounded by Golden State. Wiseman's got nine rebounds now. Here's Kaminga. And Davis with the block. None with it. Pass to Davis. And here's Schroeder. He's watched by Kuminga. Schroeder can't get it to go. Kuminga, the pass to Poole. 
Grant, this is the business you and I are in. The NBA has a couple of years with existing TV partners. How much are we going to see things change with the next deal, you think? Oh, B.A., this is interesting as this continues to evolve. I think as people's viewing habits have changed in the last 10 to 15 years, I think live sports and the NBA game is still something fans love to see in real time. I think also the fact that we can also attract a larger audience is exciting. I don't know how it'll all play out, but I know it'll be fun to follow and watch as we go. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw is good. They needed more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. Pass to Davis. And Davis gets double teamed. Here's Reeves. He's watched by Kuminga. Six to shoot. None. The pass to Schroeder. Kept alive. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Schroeder's got four points now in the quarter. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Lakers. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them. And it must feel great to take the first meeting. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Anthony Davis. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. The first free throw is good. And so he hits both. 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Poole against Schroeder. Down low. Here's Wiseman. And we're going to have a jump ball. Hell ball. Jump ball. Looney passes to Poole. Just five on the clock. From deep. He can't get it to go. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Outside Schroeder. 20 seconds left in the fourth. We got a piece of it. Pool outside. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement indeed, B.A. It was in enemy territory. They controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. LeBron, that was an impressive win. What did it take to get it done tonight? It's a really good team that we're playing. They're very resilient, just like us. They play together, they play hard, they play tough. So we had to bring that fight tonight. You brought it, it paid off. Congrats. All right, Allie, thank you. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us as New Balance presents our player of the game, Anthony Davis.